I was listening to an October 2016 General Conference address given by LDS Apostle David Bednar. Elders, let's look at a talk given by the Apostle David Bednar at the October 2016 General Conference. Is that the one titled, I Never Knew You? That's the one. Elder Bednar begins his talk with a passage taken from the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 7, 21-23. His point was to emphasize that the Lord's statement in the King James Version, I never knew you, was changed in the Joseph Smith translation to read, Ye never knew me. Then Elder Bednar recites in the King James Bible the parable of the ten virgins found in Matthew 25, 1-12, where Jesus tells the foolish virgins, I know ye not. And again, Elder Bednar explains that the King James Version was changed in the Joseph Smith translation to read, Ye know me not. At the end of his talk, found on churchofjesuschrist.org, under References, you'll find the footnotes to these JST passages. That's why we believe Joseph Smith to be an inspired prophet of God. Yeah, well, it's interesting. The Lord inspired Joseph Smith to revise the Word of God by taking out the incorrect wording and replacing it with what should have been there. But Elder Bednar makes a critical mistake in using the Joseph Smith translation to prove his point. How so? If we turn to the Book of Mormon, which is claimed to be the most correct book, we find the sermon at the temple in Bountiful, where Jesus supposedly appeared to the Nephites following his resurrection. Would you please read 3 Nephi 14.23? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Notice anything there? 3 Nephi 14.23 is word for word the same as in the King James Version of Matthew 7.23. Exactly. Including the same phrase, I never knew you. Look, here in the footnote of 3 Nephi 14.23, it cross-references another Book of Mormon passage, Mosiah 26.27. And then I will confess unto them that I never knew them, and they shall depart into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Do you see the mistake Elder Bednar made in using the Joseph Smith translation? It seems that the Book of Mormon agrees with the King James Version and not the Joseph Smith translation. That's confusing. I think it's very clear. You not only have two verses in the King James Bible, but also two verses in the Book of Mormon, which was supposedly translated by the gift and power of God, that differ with the Joseph Smith translation. I wonder why, if it was good enough for the Lord to be quoted in the Bible and substantiated in the Book of Mormon, Why did Joseph Smith feel it necessary to change the Lord's word in his inspired version? And what was Elder Bednar thinking? Why is the footnote in Elder Bednar's talk only referencing Matthew 7 and not 3 Nephi 13 and Mosiah 26? I don't know. Beats me. Is it because Joseph Smith copied the sermon at the temple in 3 Nephi from the King James Bible, Sermon on the Mount? Well, we don't know for sure about that. Look, elders. If you have a modern-day apostle telling its members in a worldwide general conference that the Bible is wrong and the Joseph Smith translation is inspired, in spite of what was just pointed out in the Book of Mormon, as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, what do you do with that information? 